It's officially the last day at the cabin. It's about to rain, the thunder's rolling through. And we're here picking up all the last minute things like the plants that will probably die without our supervision. The water tanks, cause they can be useful down at the house and any other little tools and knickknacks that Will might want or need. I'll show you guys the cabin one last time. Lucky. It turned out so nice. I'm glad we got to sleep in it at least a few times. never coming back here again. Yo, sir, this for you. I did pick up the trash, so everything is nice and clean. This is what the cabin looks like, full two stories. Got the mattress and some blankets and stuff up at the top. Eight feet of headspace down here on the first story five foot of headspace up on the second story. I did start spray foaming the cracks. It was about to be insulated, but it is what it is. I'm sure I can build another one just like it at the new spot. It's gonna be way better too. Never even clean the windows and that's sad. Still have tons of scrap lumber and boards and tar paper and other useful materials that I'll probably have to leave back here. We were able to settle with the landowner. Um, we had the option of taking the land and owning it, but I don't think we could ever work on this place without Will. It just means too much to the both of us. And I would feel bad continuing work up here without having Will next door, you know? So instead of fighting to own the land and making a big mess of surveys and land transfers and having the land owner literally right next door, this would probably be his property, not ours, because we're only getting three acres. Um, he agreed to pay us the money back that we invested into this place which was very generous of them. Thank you for the offer. I think that's probably what we're gonna do. That way we can continue somewhere else, start a brand new journey. And uh, we can do all of this over again with Will as soon as he's ready to come back to New Mexico. So here's Will's place. I'm not gonna go inside out of respect for the guy. Um, Will, thank you for everything, dude. Thank you for all that you've done up here. Thank you for sharing this experience with us. Um, it would not have been the same without you. And you guys have no idea how excited me and wifey are to have Will come back to New Mexico so we can do this all over. <laughs> for real. I'm just going to plant all new bulbs. Yeah, we're not taking things down. We're not burning anything. We're going to leave it as is. If the landowner wants to tear it down or do something with it, by all means, go ahead, dude. It sucks what happened. Yeah, it sucks what happened. It really does. But at the same time, we are grateful that we had the opportunity to be here for the five years that we were up here. And as ugly as it got there at the end with the landowner, we do appreciate everything. We appreciate the opportunity to be here. We appreciate you coming through for us in a time that we needed it the most. And we will always love and cherish this mountain, even though we probably will never be back again.
There's no keeping these animals out. So sad. Cooper, you can keep all these flowers. One last shot for Hoop Dog, and I'm gonna use Will's tripod for it. Really special moment here. Oh. 